Hello everyone, Cloud here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the angled cannon. Uh, this cannon is personally one of my favorites because I could not find anything on YouTube about any cannons or anyone that has done an angled cannon. And yeah, so I put this little thing together and I was quite proud of it. So I'm going to show you how to build it and how to just have fun with it. Shoot things at an angle. You're going straight left, right, and down. We can go like northwest, southeast, northeast, and yeah. So <laughs> let's jump right into it. All right. So to start off, we're going to need pretty much just an angled way. So make sure you're looking at the blocks on an angle, just like that. All right. Now we gotta decide how long we want it, so we'll just go four blocks. Four now. Just four blocks. And you wanna make sure there's one block between each one. At the very end, put a half slab in there. Now, this is where you get to decide if you want two streams of water or one stream. If you want two streams, go one more, fill it in, and put water right there. But if you're like me and wanna you know save some water just put it off on a nice little angle like that put your water down right there and it'll run all the way down now just to cover it up just go like that so you have something like this nice angled and now you need to be able to light off the TNT the TNT is gonna go right here 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 and here note that no TNT is in the center right here uh, you can't really light that, not unless you had something underneath and popped up. I haven't tried anything like that, but I it works perfectly great just this way. So, what you're going to need to do is put two more blocks just like that so the redstone can get to it. One, two. Now wire it up and connect them all together. So you got that. Pretty simple, right? Alright, now next thing is how are we gonna shoot this one off well you can't have it down on top of these because they will work as you know a circuit and they'll go through so go like that one two and then one over this is where this piece of TNT is gonna go when it gets lit up it's gonna fall down and then get shot so we gotta come out about eh, a good three blocks like that or, but actually yeah let's go like that actually hold on and uh, I, I like going like this so go just a couple blocks out it don't matter and what I like to do is put uh, a circuit going in you could do it just like this if you'd like as long as that redstone is not connecting to that redstone to this circuit it's okay and then just wire this down to make sure it goes like that. I always like to have three and always put these on three clicks just to be safe and then I can measure it out. So you have something like this. I don't even need that block. Well you can put your button pretty much anywhere. So we'll just throw it on the side and light it off. You see it lights it up. That goes up there, there, there and that falls and gets shot out. You can see it's pretty powerful, really simple to make and why is that? That shouldn't be like that. No, oh, I hate when they do redstone things like this. Alright. Idiots. Let's go like that. And we'll do it like that. I forget the redstone. There you go. Whatever. It all turns out to work. As long as you press the button and the redstone isn't still lit after you're done, you should be good. And it'll work wonderful. Now, take note that not every time it's going to go perfectly straight if you have it set up like this. Sometimes it'll fall, it'll land on like one of those blocks, and it'll get launched way up in the air, like way up there. Now, if you want to make sure it's perfect every time, you can go three high on these blocks just like that and I'll make sure that block does not get pushed on top of there and it'll go perfectly straight you can mess with it figure out how you want it to set it up and it'll go 
like that, or you can take him out if you like to see him go higher, and it's all, it's all odds and ends, pretty much. So, yeah, this is my angled cannon. I actually think of a sweet name for this, like, Mon uh, Mongolian Thunder Tushy. Okay, don't, I'm not calling it Mongolian, no, no, that's not happening. That sounds like a stripper's name, we're not. My cannon's not a stripper. At least I don't think. Ew. Cannon. You're sick. Alright. So, if you like this tutorial, or like the cannon, at least, uh, leave a like. If you haven't checked out any of the other cannon tutorials, please jump by, check those out, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you all later. Bye.